Hello and welcome back to Farmer Joy. In this video, using this uh, bucket mixer for the first time. As you can see, the inside, it, it's not worn or barely worn, I should say. So I did a sample where I just loaded it by hand uh, previously before doing this. So I get the formula right. Um, I just wanted to make sure. They recommended doing it that way. And so now, now I have a good idea on where or how much to fill the bucket up with. So I'm just using, just going, picking up the material I need, filling in it to the level that I had marked in the bucket, which I don't show you the mark that I put in the bucket, but it's just something you're gonna figure out for yourself if you buy one of these buckets. Now, when I purchased this bucket, I didn't think about saying, hey, look, I'm using this as a cement mixer. My bad. It's really, it's a mortar mixer. And I just bought it with the intent. Now, you got to listen. I had gone and searched the internet all over the place. And they've all come up in the description, cement mixers, cement mixers, bucket cement mixers. And so I, I actually talked to a few people and they're like, oh, yeah, they're great. I love them and you can't live without them. Well, this one is a huge nightmare. I mean, it is convenient. Okay, look at this here. One side's dry, the other side's wet. It's a mortar mixer. And I know you're going to watch this video and you're going to say, yes, it's a mortar mixer. It's not a cement mixer. You're not supposed to run three-quarter con mix through it. But I did anyway. And I screwed up the bucket. I busted um, some bolts on the paddles and uh, put huge grooves in the steel. Now, if I continued to run this bucket the way without modifying it this bucket ain't gonna last me no longer than a year so uh, you know this is my first you know really going through playing with it and uh, trying everything you know this shoot thing here you know it's a great idea but damn it's so hard to put on you gotta get the chain out of the way for me, I want to just get on and go. I don't want to deal with all this, you know, sliding it on. I did it in this video just to, you know, see how it is. But I don't think I've used that chute since. I just get really close to the object that I'm pouring, open the chute on the bottom, and dump it in. See, like that there. See in the future videos I'll just get super close to it I am spilling a lot but that's fine uh, somehow I misplaced the footage of filling two other holes the capacity is much greater than the three-point bucket mixer that I have uh, and sorry for the shaking I just you know I recorded this stuff it was when I was first getting into YouTube so I really didn't know, you know, the vibration of the cameras, what, what would happen. But here's just a small clip of me just cleaning it out. It got, you know, I used it for the first time and it's got this huge bow in it. I bolted it. I wasn't going to bolt it before, but I'm glad I did because it would have bent way in. And, uh... That would have. I'm gonna say yes. That would have sucked. So I don't want to take the guard off. I bet if I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff, I might. But see, there's no clearance. There's very little clearance in there. And uh, the rocks, look at that. The rocks are just chewing up the side of the mixer. And there's never, when I bought it, I didn't say, oh, by the way, I'm running um, three quarter inch rock through it. That's what I'm running. I got three quarter, I think, you know, you, the reason why you run three-quarter inch rock is to fill 
so you're using less cement so you're using less the rocks are great to fill in the voids if you're pouring a lot this you know it helps you know what I mean it, it it's a filler it's if I could use bigger rocks I would and I have in the drum mixer um, which no longer works so my first trial see that I broke the bolt here I'm I'm a little upset with the whole ordeal um, but uh, what, what am I gonna do you know I wanted to uh, get that off and take it to the mechanic up there and and he says you know, I want him to look at it first but he says grind or cut some of this back but uh, before I do that I'll have him look at it so okay I gotta go I have got too much stuff on my list to just stand around and talk into a camera so um, when it when the winter comes I should have more time and I'll be doing a whole bunch of videos hopefully I'll be doing a video every day um, so, yeah, I, it's hard, it's, it's really hard right now, I'm just running around with my head cut off practically, you know, blowing bubbles to see which way's up, trying to get out of this, this, uh, hole I created, you know. We're just financially just going deeper and deeper into debt. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I know my day is a little bit brighter, even though this fog, I, I like this. This is the perfect weather. It's warm. I probably don't need this right now, but it's, it's perfect for uh, moving dirt. So, like I said, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.